I recently moved, but before I moved, my kids were having a fit about all the clothes in my closet. And over the last two or three years, every time I bought something, I gave two things away, justifying what I did, which was not justifying anything at all. But I decided, because of simple living, for one thing, that I need to readjust my life. So I sat down, and I have in my desk drawer a challenge to myself, which is a promise to myself, that I was not going to buy any more clothes except underwear. <laughs> it had to be something that uh, I desperately needed. It could not be anything for adornment or to make me feel good or whatever. Uh, being a widow for so long, you develop a need to go out and shop. Go out and buy something to make you feel pretty good or you justify it by, if I'm out shopping, I'm walking, I'm exercising. <laughs> All these excuses. So I, I wrote to myself, and it's in my desk drawer, and I put myself to test three times in the last two weeks. I went shopping and never bought anything. Mm -hmm. Then I went shopping the other day, and I found this gorgeous cape. Uh, a fleece cape, a uh, hound's tooth, black and white that I like, and it was on sale from $40 to 20 I thought, oh, I can justify this. And then that little guardian angel on my shoulder said, uh-uh, you said no more clothes. Now, I carted that around in my shopping cart. All the while I was there getting exercise, <laughs> picked up some laundry, um, products, took the cape back and hung it up. And it was <laughs> like I was let out of jail. I was so proud that when my daughter from Des Moines called me, she said, how was your day, mother? And I said, enlightening. <laughs> because I actually, and I swear to you as um, a lay minister, uh, that I felt that I broke a bond that had me chained for a while. So, thank you for affirming, Elta, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. simplifying one life is a challenge, mm -hmm. but it is such a joy to get that burden of stuff off of our shoulders. That's right. I'd like to share something that Rita and I have done. Uh, about five years ago, we were looking forward to retirement in about 10 years. And so we made a pledge to each other that we would reduce our possessions by 10% a year for 10 years. Now, when you do the math, <laughs> <laughs> when you do the math, you end up with 30% of what you started with because you're always reducing each year a smaller amount. If you don't understand the math, I'll be glad to explain it. To you. I don't want to. But, and so we have a whole variety of ways to accomplish that goal. And Rita's especially fond of clothes. And so, you know, we have the one for one rule in our family, where for each one thing that comes into the house, one thing needs to go out of the house. Well, with Rita's clothing, sometimes we have to enforce the two for one rule. <laughs> yes, I have that. In order to in order to keep that uh, ten percent reduction in cheer, so it is possible. And what we're urging through this is that we take the long view, that we plan ahead, because I've talked to so many people who, upon retirement, or when when they have to move out of into smaller quarters, they say to me. I've been saving all these things for my kids for 30 years, and now they don't want it. <laughs> We've made a pledge that we will not leave a whole bunch of junk for our kids yes, to contend absolutely. with. Absolutely. <laughs> well, as the wife in the situation here, you have to understand that, yes, I do like clothes, but I'm in a profession, uh, as a teacher, and an elementary teacher, I'm in a profession yes. where... I need to dress nicely and elementary kids like you to dress cute and they pay attention better if you do dress cute. 
I am married to a man who owns literally two pairs of pants. <laughs> two pairs. And they're both tan, so you can never tell which one he's wearing. <laughs> so, and this is a man who, who has never, ever been interested in clothes. But my point is, that seems to be a common theme between men and women. It's easier for men to give up clothes because they never cared about them to begin with. It's much harder for women to give up clothes. For some reason, lots of women that I know, clothes and yeah. dressing colorfully and wearing jewelry is important to us. I don't know if it's a cultural thing or if it's because we dress children also or what, but I know it's a struggle. One thing he forgot to mention is in January, I had my annual downsizing of my closet. And I literally go through and count every piece of clothing without the underwear. I don't count any. <laughs> or socks. <laughs> go through and count every piece of clothing, and then I take away 10%. Mm -hmm. Whatever is the 10% mm -hmm. leaves. And I do it in January because I can try all of that stuff on in January. And I know there'll be nobody coming to the house in Iowa in January. Knock on my door while I'm trying on clothes. <laughs> so, so that's... And it's easier, somehow after Christmas, it's easier to do that. I don't know, the hubbub, and, and it's kind of a down time of year. What I would like to do eventually is do that for, uh, I have a little trouble with uh, decorative things, too. Like, I like to decorate for Halloween. And so I have little decorative Halloween things. That's also hard for me to get rid of. So, so I'm working on it.